Hi there, I'm Nick Phelps, CTO of Underlay Networks. Um, and uh, we wanted to do a little look back, um, uh, a, a little recap. The, the whole world is focused on nostalgia, so why should we be any different? Let's talk about NSX versus ACI again, because it was so much fun last time we did it, and uh, we just couldn't resist ourselves to do it again. And uh, we figured, uh, what more appropriate time than on site here at Green Pages Summit uh, in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, uh, where we published our first video about NSX versus ACI. Uh, we got a lot of traction with that video. Um, it was uh, re really popular, spurred a lot of comments and a lot of creative thought, which was kind of the intent. And um, since then, We've had the unique opportunity to be approached by people who actually adopted that idea. And uh, the, 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 the gist of my video last year, or, or a couple years ago now, was about uh, instead of NSX versus ACI, what about NSX with ACI? And that was really where I was, I, I was a proponent of that architecture. Um, however, it was still a little science fiction for the time. Um, so, the dust has settled. NSX and ACI have been in the industry. We've now been approached by people who, based on that video, felt the need to reach out and show us what they've done with these two technologies living together. Um, I'll showcase one uh, from a slightly sanitized perspective. They're a service provider who offers a multi-tenant um, platform uh, for research uh, organizations and universities uh, to collaborate uh, at low latency and high bandwidth and allow them to build environments within this multi-tenant environment. They run their physical environment with ACI. They run their virtual overlay environment with NSX. And the two have come together to form a beautiful orchestra of automation around tenant deployments and tenant models and being able to bring in partner services. Um, just as, as, as if we kind of theorized before, there's, there's the underlying infrastructure that still has physical requirements from physical ports and connections to physical machines and devices. And ACI handles that beautifully from a tenant-based application capacity. And then where necessary, abstracts the network from the physical infrastructure and allows you to create virtual overlays. Similarly, in the virtual environments, tenants themselves of this environment can spin up virtual networks that live on top of their virtualization environment and then leverage the fabric that ACI has built underneath to actually allow it to stretch out past the bounds of a traditional data center and feel like an application that does spread across multiple clouds and supports third-party tie-in of services and applications. Um, it's really cool to see what's happened out there. And uh, this video is not one long I told you so, I promise. And if you'd like to find that out, feel free to reach out because we'd, we'd love to talk about how this could apply to your environment. If you've adopted any of these technologies and are thinking about integrating them east to west with other technologies, it's something that we've had the unique opportunity to experience over the past couple of years, and we'd love to share that experience with you. So please reach out. Um, again, thanks for your time.